Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, your girl, Big L. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm holding sit. Y'all already saw the caption. Y'all already know what it's about. Y'all already know what it's about. But hey, it's me, Laura Love. Thank you for joining. If you're new, welcome. If you're one of my buddies, if, if you're a regular here, hey, I missed you. Anyway, um, so today I am going to be doing some quarantine DIYs. Um, I know everyone's been doing DIYs and I'm not even a DIY type person. I, I like the thrift store, but um, I also just like to randomly try things. So all these things I've never done before, so I'm going to be trying them with you guys on camera with my friends and hopefully they come out right so um i had three i was supposed to have four okay so i was supposed to do four things i had these jeans i'm gonna show them better later clearly but i had these jeans old jeans from um i had since i went to buff state shout out to ambits this store y'all provided me with clothes and kept me fresh my whole buff state journey Anyway, um, so I have some, literally everything actually down there is from Ambets. I graduated four years ago and I got them while I was like actively in school. So maybe like five, six years ago. Um, so I'm going to cut them and I'm going to try to make them cute. So what I have today, I have um, my scissors. I have a bag full of goodies. I have needle and thread. I got fabric glue. I got, what I got? Uh, fabric glue, I got needle and thread, I got scissors, I think that's all I got. <laughs> but that is what we that's what we're gonna use today to make magic. So stay with me and I'll see you guys at the end of the video. Okay, first we are starting with these um denim jeans. Yeah, denim jeans that I got from Ambet years ago. Okay. They were in storage all the time, so they have random little stains on them. Y'all know about them storage stains, so Let's not pretend. <laughs> it's not just me. All right, so I'm gonna try them on. So you guys see the fit of it. Oh, they match the shirt somewhere right now. Do I have a thing for burgundy? So I'm learning. All right, so this is how they fit. They're very nice, super um, high-waisted. Super, super high-waisted. So, and they don't go all the way down to my ankle. They stack like up here. So I decided that I want to just turn them into shorts because I actually really never ever wear these pants. Um, so now they're going to be some burgundy high-waisted shorts. So let's do it. Let's do this thing then. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do, I have this um, white eye pencil that I also never use. <laughs> We're using everything today. And I'm going to mark where I want to cut. So the reason why I wore shorts is so that I had like kind of reference. Um, so my shorts that I was wearing stop right here. But of course, everybody knows you don't cut exactly where you want it to go because then there's no room for mistakes. So I'm going to go a little bit lower. So this is where my shorts stop. So I'm going to mark it where my shorts that I, the length I want it to be. And I'm going to cut like here. I'm going to cut like, what is this? Maybe two inches below. So I'm gonna mark that. I'm only gonna mark it on that side and I'm gonna fold it over to do the cut. All right guys, so we're about to start cutting. So the first thing you need to do is draw a line straight across. What really hit me <laughs> while I was making this video was I realized I have no rulers in my house. So I had to use this to draw a line. And I started thinking like, who bought rulers? <laughs> Who bought rulers when we were kids? Like, did the school provide us with rulers? Or did our parents just know? Is that like an adult thing to buy? Like how you need to buy, um, I don't know. You gotta buy toothpicks. You also need to buy a ruler. Just have a ruler in your house. Anyway, so you need a ruler. Um, you're gonna draw it across and then you're gonna cut that side then flip it over and cut the other one. All right, so pants are back on. As you can see, they're not even even, but it doesn't matter. Why? Because we're going to cuff them. So what we're going to do is, and uh -huh. all right, so we're going to cuff it. I'm going to cuff it this way. I'm going to try it this way first. Because I also, like I said, I also bought, um, I also bought, ooh, 
first of all, I don't got Meg's niece. I don't got Meg's niece. Um, I also bought fabric glue. So if I don't like it cupped outward, I'm just gonna turn it inside and glue it, seam it. Okay, so we're gonna roll it this way. Roll it up one more, one more time. And let's see. Okay, let's try the other side. Cup it up one time. Double cuff. Like Drake, Drake said something like that, right? I think like Drake said double cuff now. Or double cup love. I don't know what he said, but we doubled it. And to be honest with you guys, let me see. Here. This is actually fine by me. Um hold on. Okay, yeah. Honestly, I'm only gonna wear this like um, uh, during summer, probably like to park, maybe a quick barbecue. This is what it looks like. Yeah, that's it. They literally look like the shorts I was just wearing, but these are denim. They have pockets, and yeah, I can see. I can continue the video from here. I don't have the patience going back and forth. I don't. All right, so next we have this button up blouse, also from Amphet. Um, I don't know what I was going for when I bought it. I feel like I literally, I wore this one time to work, like when I got my job for the first time. Um, so what I wanna do is I wanna cut it, I wanna turn it into a tie top. This I'm a little bit nervous for. I'm actually the most nervous, well no, the skirt. <laughs> we gonna see my skills with that skirt. Um, I'm actually really nervous for this one too though, but I want it to be like a cute like tie top. I think that'd be pretty with like some like jeans or some like shorts or just even some denim, like, you know, y'all see the vision. So that's what we're gonna try to do. Let's see. All right guys, so what you're gonna do is you put it on and what I did was I counted up how many buttons, um, like how many buttons long I wanted and I ended up going with three buttons and then I buttoned it up, took it off, well, took it off, buttoned it up, and used the three buttons as my reference on where I should stop. So I would cut um, on the side. So you don't cut the, I'm going to try to explain it the best way I can. You don't cut the button part in the middle. So you know, like, so when you button it up, you have that thick button part <laughs> in the middle. So you, you're cutting the sides of it. So you're gonna so when you're done cutting what you're gonna be left with is the long button part that's still uncut and just the sides are going to be cut or you're gonna see it better just bear with me and right there I was just showing that like um, initially I tried just cutting the top and not cutting the bottom because I've seen someone do that on YouTube but guys mm, that was a waste of time and it was actually harder that way <laughs> So um, instead, you're gonna see on the second second side that I do, I just cut both the top and the bottom. And like I said, I stop when I get to the thick button part in the middle at the third button, which is where I drew my line, and just do that on both sides. So as y'all can see, um, for the first side, I decided to like try to cut the top separate than the bottom. And you see me there struggling because it's actually harder because the material is thinner and my scissors ain't that sharp. So <laughs> um, it was just much harder to just cut the top. And y'all gonna see how much easier it is on the second side when I'm just like, we just gonna cut them both together. So y'all gonna see. Y'all see how easy it is to just cut them together and not try to lift one side. Like, nobody got time for that. Um, yeah, so just cut it together. And then after you cut across on your mark line, you, cr you cut upward um, going along your thick line, which remember, we are not cutting. We are just cutting the sides off. Um, 
And because, of course, you know, you're not cutting a thick line, you're going to have to flip it over and cut the little piece in the back that will still be um, hanging on. But yeah, and honestly, it's not even going to look neat. My lines was jagged, but guess what? <laughs> no one's going to see that because when you tie it, they're going to be like, oh, wow, that's so cute. They're not even going to be looking at your jagged lines. And honestly, if it even bothers you that much, take your glue and glue it. Take your fabric glue and seam it and you're good. We're good to go. I'm not even gonna hold y'all. <laughs> this is cute. All right, I had no faith in this one right here, but you know what? Hold on, let me look in the mirror. Good. You know what? This is cute. This is cute. This is cute. I think I wouldn't necessarily tie it into a bow. I kind of just probably like do a little something like this. You We're ready for your barbecue. We're ready for your barbecue. We're ready for your barbecue. The collars are out, but you can also like turn them inside. Whew. I clearly need a taller stand, guys. Whew, okay. You can turn it inside and kind of like uh, tuck it. You can't tell me I didn't buy this from the store. Like... You didn't tell me I ain't buy this from Fashion Nova. Y'all not gonna tell me that. This is how it looks from the back. You ready for your barbecue and your brunch? Next. All right, and our last DIY project is just this long floral skirt. Um, it's a circle skirt, also from Ambet. And what I wanna try, I have no faith in this one. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna work, but I wanna see if I can turn it into a like a long side split because it has pockets so i don't know why to me that means that like i could just cut all the way down and then it's gonna be you know one of them like mary who who does it angelina one of them with the leg i want a leg i want a leg so i'm gonna we're gonna do it Ooh, we're gonna do it we're gonna see i'll be back with you shortly all right guys so now we have our skirt and we're just gonna cut along the seam um, I was so nervous. <laughs> I was so nervous. Like you would have thought I was doing um Project Runway. That's how I felt doing this. <laughs> it was never that deep. Anyway, um, but yeah, you're just gonna cut along the seam. Um, my pocket is actually what joins the two seams together at the top. So I'm cutting um I actually decided to start from the bottom because it was actually really hard trying to cut from the pocket. So I flipped it over and I'm going to start from the bottom and just keep cutting up the street, up the seam until I get to the pocket and then I'll be back with y'all. Okay, so I cut it, the pocket is still it. But y'all, this has potential, this has potential. Let's go back and cut, let's see what happens. All right, so I put a safety pin where, like I don't wanna cut that piece, cause it needs something to hold on to. So I'm just gonna cut everything else. It's gonna be like that. I'm just gonna do it all this on, cause I can't take it off, cause I forgot I'm too thick to, to sneak out of a safety pin. Wait, let me turn up the AC. I forgot that with the safety pin on, on in, I cannot slide out. So we're gonna cut it on, you guys. We're cutting it on. Okay, guys, so I cut it. Um, let me show you guys what it looks like. Ooh, something's in my eye. All right, so this is what it looks like. Now, I still would need to like either um, hem it with a needle and thread or use the fabric glue and just kind of turn this inward. But it'll look like this. And this would be for the beach. Like when you go to the beach, let's say I have a, a brown bathing suit or black, any color bathing suit and you just need like a quick cover up. 
this is my cover up. I just made a cover up. I love it. I'm actually really proud of it. And yeah, I like the way it came out. I think once I hem the side like that, I feel like it's really a look. <laughs> it's a look. When people, when people stop me like, oh, where'd you get your cover up from? Don't say nothing. You heard it here first. Um, and yeah, so that concludes my video. I'm not even gonna like sit back down because I don't know how people do this. This took so much out of me. Like, I'm sweating. I'm hot. Having to switch the camera from this angle to that to the... Ha! That's it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know which one was your favorite. Don't forget to like. Please, don't forget to like. Um, comment down below. I want to hear from you guys. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time.